Hey, baby. So I couldn't find the vlog camera, but I had to vlog this. So I'm using the phone. What are you doing? You making a mess? Huh? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, you're making a mess. Say so you were doing really good eating your peas. And then what? See, we're trying to get you to learn how to drink from a straw. So mommy got you these squeezy pouches. So you can learn to squeeze and suck it. There you go. That's how you get it out. Now you try. I don't think she likes being messy. You try. Go ahead. You try it. So I just like to squeeze it. <laughs> That's the wrong part of me in your mouth. You gotta put this part in your mouth. There you go. Put that part in your mouth. Close. <laughs> there you go. Now you're getting it. Oh. Stop. Are you getting any in your mouth? There you go. You're figuring it out, huh? It's okay if you make a mess. You're washable. Huh. But I'm so proud of you eating your peas. She's eating so many peas all by herself. I just wanted to give you guys a update on Magnolia's eye. So we get a lot of questions on the bump over her eye. It is a hemangioma, um, which is like a collection of blood vessels. Um, and hers just happens to be over her eye and under the skin. And we have been to the doctors. She goes to a specialist once a month. Um, and we actually just went to go see the specialist. Well, 
let me backtrack. We went to her surgeon, um, to the pedi pediatric surgeon uh, on Monday, and we had an appointment to like look at her belly button and see how everything was looking, and it's looking really, really good, he said, so that's all good. Then he mentioned that her eye wasn't looking any better. Her main gym over her eye wasn't looking any better. And so he wanted to possibly look into the idea of doing something called injection therapy, which I don't know exactly a whole lot of details about it, um, but pretty much what it does is it turns the hemangioma into scar tissue and then they remove the scar tissue. So we thought, okay, that sounds like a you know pretty good option. And he was gonna talk about it with our hemangioma doctor. And then on Wednesday, we had an appointment with her hemangioma doctor and they said that they actually had a meeting about Magnolia because apparently all of this is very interesting to everybody, all the doctors, they just think that, um, the I guess the amount of hemangiomas that she has and just the one on her eye is interesting to them. So they had a big meeting about it um, that morning and they were looking over all her scans with the hemangioma doctor, her surgeon, an ENT, and a radiologist. We're all looking at her scans and discussing it. And the ENT noticed on one of the scans that she has a um, blood vessel that is going from the hemangioma, because underneath like the pool of blood vessels, it kind of like spider webs out. So they're not just like collected right there. There's, you know, other ones. So there's one that goes from the hemangioma down like in to like her cheek kind of area. And what they, what um, the doctor was saying is that if they were to remove the hemangioma, you know, they have to get all of it out and if they damaged where that nerve or where, where that blood vessel goes to if they damaged it it could leave her paralyzed on that side of her face so we're not going to do anything about the hemangioma we're just going to keep her on the medicine hopefully it will start to go down um she did say that it can take a while for the medicine to work and for the medicine to make it go down and for them to go down on their own just in general we are we do see this doctor once a month um and then she is having us go and get another ultrasound of magnolia's belly because she did have hemangiomas all over her liver so i think she wants to see if it's working at all like for the ones on her liver so we have that coming up um, in March, on March 8th, so hopefully those scans will all come back, but for now we're just leaving that hemangioma alone and hoping it gets smaller. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think Robert will probably insert a few really cute clips of Magnolia um, in here. Um, she had her last swimming class with Robert. I'm doing her very last swimming class this weekend. Um, Robert's going out of town and so I'm going to be doing her swimming lesson and that's her last one and um, I think I have another clip of her eating which is really really cute. I'm trying to get her to learn how to suck through a straw because she does not like her sippy cup that she has to tilt um, it comes out too fast and she doesn't like it. She just doesn't like, I don't know why she doesn't like it. But I'm trying to, I thought maybe she would like sucking through a straw, but she doesn't know how. So I gave her like one of those squeeze pouches of applesauce thinking that maybe she could learn how to squeeze and like get it in her mouth and then she kind of learn how to suck and then she could learn how to suck from a straw. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what kind of sippy cup worked best for you when you were transitioning from bottle to sippy cup um just so you know the bottles that we use right now are the dr brown's glass wide mouth bottles um 
that's what we use now and she's doing really really good eating she loves to eat peas and blueberries and things like that waffles for breakfast <laughs> so she's doing a really really good job um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and as always if you have any more questions about her hemangioma or any of her other medical things you can leave them in the comments below and we will see you guys next time bye